Oh man, it's a hundred and point one. <laughs> Yesterday, we had took him for a COVID test. He had a fever, but it looks like he's okay. Yeah, that COVID test is not fun. Yeah. He wasn't feeling good yesterday, but I wouldn't have been as concerned if it was not for the fever that I feel like came out of nowhere. Hmm. You know, so, but no fever as of today. So that's really, that's great news. Hopefully we get the test um, results back. Like maybe today? It said one to three days. Probably not today because it's Sunday. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay, all, all right, so I got the boys situated. They are yummy. having their lunch. It's yummy? Good. I haven't tasted it. Oh, but you know what it tastes like. Good? Yummy. Yummy. Got him some OJ as well. We've been trying to give Uriah a little bit more vitamin C since he got sick. Um, for me, for my lunch, I have some broth boiling here, and I'm gonna make some wontons. When I was rearranging the freezer yesterday, I kind of rediscovered this bag of wontons, so I do want to eat some of it today. And then for power, he's on keto, so I'm gonna make him something different. Um, but he's taking a shower right now, so I'm not really in a rush to, to cook him his lunch just yet. But I'm gonna do this one, shrimp and pork wontons. This is my finished product here. I'm sitting here eating it and sweating. I kind of remember now why I kind of stopped making this because it's gotten really hot. <laughs> and it's hard to eat it when you're hot. This is like a good winter meal, not so much a summer meal when you don't turn on AC at your house. I remember now. <laughs> so we actually haven't been doing much today. We've just been like chilling inside the room enjoying the AC because it's kind of a hot day today. But I'm about to get dinner started. I already cooked my rice. Power had some Indian food the other day and it, I had a little taste of it and it tasted really good. So I was like, man, I haven't made butter chicken in a long time, right? So I'm gonna make butter chicken today. But let me, um take the boys temperature so yesterday you know with this, this whole thing about Uriah being sick PJ didn't tell us that he had a scratchy throat until like later in the afternoon which was already after we had booked Uriah's appointment for his COVID test but he's been pretty okay so far right mm -hmm. and then you've been pretty okay so far <laughs> my throat's been, been getting better. Good. My eyes still hurt. Oh, what about your belly? You said your belly hurt yesterday. What's uh, this? That's a memory card. But um, we're just gonna take their test because uh, it's been several hours. I mean, their temperature. It's been several hours since I just changed out the battery. I don't think I did it right. <laughs> it's not turning on. Mom, it's so inside out. I see the thing on the back now. Of course, you're not gonna be the same way. Right? My bad. I just changed it out because it said it was low. Wait, this oh, okay. Great. Right, you did. Okay, let's see. Hopefully, yeah, you guys don't have a temperature. Bad. It's on. Okay, who's first? Me. Okay, let's go PJ first. Okay, turn your head. Go like this. Oh man. It's a little elevated. Let's check the other side. It's 99.4 on that side. Oh man, it's 100.1. So Tylenol, Tylenol. Is that bad? It's, uh, it's a little it's elevated. Feverish. It's feverish. Uriah, come here. I hope I don't have Okay, this is P the great medicine. Yeah, PJ. This well, is my favorite medicine. Well, I'm so glad you like it. Okay, here I come here. Let me test you. Okay. You love getting your temperature checked, though. 98. That's not bad. Other side. That's good. 
98.2. No, no fever for Uriah. He doesn't need Tylenol? Yeah, he doesn't need it, just PJ. Alright, we can have a popsicle. You want a popsicle? Why are you crying, baby? Alright, so I'm starting the butter chicken. I have oil in the pan, in the Instant Pot. It's on. Saute. I'm gonna throw in a couple scoops of some garlic. I don't think I have any fresh garlic, so this minced garlic will do. I like to throw a little extra. We do love our garlic. Let that fry up a little bit. It's been so long since I made this, I had to look up the recipe. So after the garlic, I'm gonna put in the tomato paste with pesto. <laughs> Did I buy the wrong one? Anyways. Um, the tomato paste, fry that up a little bit, and then my um, spices, I just reused this bottle, it's not really just onion powder, it has a bunch of stuff like coriander and cumin and um, paprika and salt and turmeric, I forget what else, um, gar masala, that's a big one. It has like little bits of green stuff in it. I didn't realize that's what I bought. Tomato paste with pesto. Hopefully it doesn't change the uh, dish or the profile too much here. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of smells like pizza sauce or spaghetti sauce right now. But um, just let it fry up a little bit. You just want to release some of the aromatics. Oops, too close. And then I'm going to put in the, the spices and let that kind of fry up a little bit. Okay, I need two hands. Okay, that chicken is in there. I threw in a little bit of water to glaze the bottom. And now just manually cook it for, I'll just do five minutes. You're ready to check it out, guys? It doesn't look like that much right now. Let me just stir it up and then I have to add some half and half. Actually, the recipe calls for heavy cream, but I just have half and half. So that's usually a perfectly fine substitute. Ooh, that looks so delicious, guys. Butter chicken. This is pretty much like double, if not triple, the recipe. It's like so worth it to just cook your own butter chicken. Because if you were to buy it at like the Indian restaurant it's so expensive you get like a small you know portion for like I would say 12 13 maybe even like 15 16 dollars so it's so worth it just to like make your own in my opinion okay let me give it a taste here and see if I need to adjust the seasoning or if I need more half and half Ooh, that's salty. <laughs> hmm, I wonder why it's so salty. I did salt the chicken. Maybe that's why. I think it needs more half and half. Just gonna be my guinea pig. You tell me if it's good, okay? Turn to the camera. It's good. It's hot. <laughs> Is it salty? Not not salty. Okay. The boys took their dinner to um to the room. I have a desk set up there, so they're eating on the desk. But let me let me give it a taste and give you my honest honest opinion. My honest opinion bomb it is a little bit on the salty side but it's really really good too bad i don't have any um whatchamacallit garlic naan that would that would be delicious but for now rice and chicken and sauce that's all you need 
right, guys, that's a wrap for today. Thanks for watching. Click the thumbs up. Comment below, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thank you.